Hello to all, welcome back to another Duel Master video. So today I have a pretty exciting pack opening to show you. These are some packs I picked up from a seller online. So we have just some RAM packs, DM2, DM3, DM4, 1 DM6, and the biggest thing guys, 3 DM10. So I'll get to opening, but yeah, I found this guy online, and just a heads up to anyone buying right now, Pack prices are a bit insane. So these DM10 packs, I'd say are probably going on average for about $35. But so uh, yeah, the 350 on there, definitely not how much uh, people are paying. But yeah, I want to do just a random pack opening for you guys, see what you think. Hopefully uh, you guys can watch me pull some magic. We got a Bark Whip first, Crystal Lancer, Bombersaur is our rare. Win the Oracle, Mana Crisis, Horde Worm, Logic Cube, Galsar, Recon Operation, Leaping, and Critical Blade. So not much for first pack. I think that's what, 10? We have 10 packs we're doing here? Roughly. I think it's 10. But anyway, so yeah, almost half a booster box. I was thinking of saving up for a big video, but I've been trying to find a um, sealed booster box to open up on the channel. Maybe for like a 250 sub special coming up. So I decided to um, put it off for a later time. And I got to be honest with you guys, I really... Oh, we got a Hey, Eladia Bale, the Inspirational. So that's exciting. We have a super rare. That is a good hit. We'll keep that on the top. Horde Worm. Yeah, but I decided to... Uh, core out good hit. Decide just to open them up. Every now and then, just a random pack opening can be good for the channel. Good for... Uh, and not to mention, good for you guys to see at home. I'm very fortunate that I'm in a uh, very strong market where some of these packs are still available. You got to pay a bit for them, but it's pretty cool that you can still find sealed product so many years later. Mass, let me see, there's our rare, the King Neptus. Looks like no foil for this one, but that's okay. Mudman, Angler Cluster, Raging Dashhorn, and Sundrop Armor. So we're hoping from DM3, maybe a Garcago Dragon. Um, I do like the artwork for Miar. It's a kind of a Manila card, not really that great, but it is a very uh, cool artwork. King Ponytus, Mass Pomegranate, Flame Tropus, Eldrick. Oh, we do! Oh, guys, we got a Garcago Dragon! Ask and ye shall receive. Well, I gotta be honest, man. So far, I really want some good DM10 hits, but wow. Good hit so far. Garcago is, um, yeah, it's one of the best hits you can get in the set, so I am quite pleased. Now, can we keep with the super rare trend? Maybe, uh, maybe a Balome? Probably not, but one can be hopeful. Either way, it's just fun to uh, get back some pack opening. It's really hard for me to hold in sealed product. I've seen some collectors who have a ton of sealed product, and I give them so much props. Oh, we got, okay, Sword Benel Light, we got a Astral Warper. Still hitting on the foil column. This one's a Cyber Virus, and when you put this creature into the battle zone, draw up to three cards. So we will still take a foil. It's not top of the line, but that's okay. But yeah, there's a couple guys on the DM scene who have sealed boxes, sealed packs. I just, I find it incredible, and also I have such an urge to open them. So, there's probably a reason I don't keep a lot of sealed stuff. It's because the joy of uh, opening packs, and again, they were made to be opened. So, I'm always a fan of opening versus saving. Oh, cool. Mongromance, Mysterious, good combo. Mystic Inscription, and we end our super rare, oh, Cologne, that's a good one. We end our super rare run, but guess what, guys? How cool would it be to finally pull a Balmedius from an actual DM6 pack? There's a couple things I would love for my channel, man. Just, again, things to show you guys. Pulling a Bomb Bazaar in Canada would be incredible. Pulling a Soul Swap. There's a couple cards that would be just amazing. So we start off with Bazooka Mutant, Neon Cluster, Moon Tier, Kioro, and that is mostly all for this pack. Pyrefighter, Death Smoke, Aqua Rider, Slumber Shell, Chen Treg, and Torch Clencher. All right, guys, it's probably the part you all came for. I'll try to be a little slower to let you all uh, enjoy the moments and also be like, man, dude, why are you opening these? They are so valuable. They are selling for over 30 a pack. 
But you know what? We are here to open booster packs. That's what we do. Let's just hope we can get something to make these packs worth it. So, we got an Ikaz, which is not bad. It's a decent rare. So this one, whenever he, bl whenever this creature blocks, choose one of your creatures in the battle zone, untap it after the battle. So, actually, I really like this card with, um, I think it's Slime Veil, which makes opponent's creatures attack. I don't know if it's one or multiple. So Ikaz. Clearly, we got a Ganta. That is a great hit. We will set that up as well. Ganta is excellent. Any multi sieves are good. Looks like no foil for this one. Not a terrible pack. Ganta's good. Decent rare. It's definitely not $30 worth, but that is okay. Ganta is still a really cool hit. So hopefully we can get at least one foil from these packs. The guy who online was selling so many of these. So hopefully to get something will be good. We have a Soder Light. Decent rare. We got Bulgolf. Ulex. Karate Potato. Looks like no foil for this one. Solar Ray. Jiggly Totem. Colossus Boost. Mummy Wrap. Florgill. And Flodani. Ah, uh, last one, guys. At least we're getting some multi sieves. The one, when I did my opening of all 12 packs, tell you, man, getting a Sean Broccoli and no multi sieves, bit of a downer. So at least we have a couple multi sieves to show for this opening. But we all want a Soul Swap. We all want a Bomb Bazaar. We all want a Bloom. But can we get anything? Can we get any kind of foil? I'm pleased to at least know that these packs can get foils. I'm just hoping. We get something. We'll slow roll. We got Bubble Scarab. Well, not the best on the rares. The Ikaz is probably the best hit. Ardent Lutron. Wind Axe, so we're definitely doing good on the multi sieves. Ah, looks like no foil. Well, you know what, guys? That's the risk you take with these packs. Sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're average. Sometimes they're below average. I'd be honest with you, those packs are probably average, only because we at least did get one multi sieve for each one. We did get some foils, though, in the earlier packs. Garcago is a pretty nice hit. Ladia Bell, good hit. So, you know what? Not a bad opening. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and be feel free to check on more of my videos. Thanks for watching.